what's up everybody welcome back to another video um this is going to be a load of t-walls to vermont so i hope you enjoy the video <clears throat> i didn't get a lot of loading and unloading footage because it was a quick process which we always enjoy so we always appreciate that so uh yeah a lot of driving time and uh also got a put a new uh intro video together so I uh, hope you enjoy that. I don't know if you guys like the intro video or you, you'd rather have the videos without that in there, but um, made some changes to the truck, so I figured I might as well make a new one. So enjoy the video, guys. Thanks for tuning in again. channel we're all loaded up getting ready to head for Vermont I just got some uh, breakfast here we got a load of tea walls going up to dairy farm we're in Kutztown here getting ready to head out so we got about six and a half, seven hours from here. I think it was about eight hours from the shop, something like that. So we're going to head up 78, 287. Going to go grab 91 in Hartford, up through Connecticut. So it's going to be a good time. Enjoy the video.
to go buy a new pair of boots. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. And the boys each gave me a homemade card, you know, drawed some stencils on there and different things. So it's pretty cool. Thanks for my, to my wife for putting all that together. My boss gave us each three bags of beef jerky and a dad joke book. So, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty creative right there. Like that's, that's pretty cool. Everybody was pretty happy about that. So anyway, I hope everybody had a happy Father's Day weekend. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back to work now. Um, last evening, yeah, well yesterday I did some local stuff and uh, unloaded <clears throat> my last load of lumber and then went on over to load this precast. So after we get this precast unloaded, we'll have to see if we can, if we have a backhaul. I kind of doubt if we do. Um, this is not an area we come to a whole lot. So, well, see, there wasn't much up in the area. Uh, Sam was looking around and there was um, I forget what the place is called, but he said there was crates of guns that paid really, really well. <laughs> but we don't have our license to haul those. And those kind of went all over the place. They went south pretty far, a lot of them. But I don't think we're going to get any of those loads because we don't have the license to haul those. But they did pay really well. So we'll have to see if we can get something even halfway back or something. If not... If not, um, we'll just, you know, come back empty. So we'll see. Such a peaceful drive this time of the day. Or night, that is. It is about 1 o'clock now. We're on 287. And we'll go across the Tappan Zee, get 684. Um, just north of New York City there, and then we'll go up to 84 and cut over to 91 uh, in Hartford, Connecticut, and head north the rest of the way. It's not far off of 91, so looks like a small, tight road to get into, but we'll be all right. Now, most of the loads, well, I don't know about most of them, but the guys, the crane and a couple of the loads went up yesterday. I think they left around 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to be up here by like midnight. And then uh, I think they're going to start around 5.30 this morning. As soon as it gets daylight, get the crane set up. First couple loads unloaded. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be there around 6.30. It's saying on the GPS. So uh, should be in and out pretty quick. There's 13 loads coming up. All right, we made it to the Tappan Zee Bridge, getting ready to cross here, right across the Hudson.
previous job I came up through there a good bit and you know they're building the new bridge um, over to the side and you can see all the construction going on for years. So the one time I looked it up and <laughs> so the one time I looked it up and I found an article you know where it shows the barges they used, the how much material they used, how long it took, all that stuff. Uh, I had read somewhere that they had barges in from all over the world, like different countries. Uh, you know, barges with cranes and excavators on and all that good stuff. But the article says that they, if I, if I remember correctly, it was 220 million pounds of steel and like 350,000 yards of concrete and something like that. It's just kind of, I mean, it's not a, you know, it's not like it's one of the biggest bridges in the U.S. or anything like that. It's not a huge bridge. Uh, I just found it interesting. It's wide, you know, it's got eight lanes or ten, whatever it is, but I just found it interesting reading that article. Uh, bridge building always, always kind of amazed me, so I'll see if I can find that link. If I can find it, um, I might put it, you know, in the description of the video here, so... I don't know. I enjoy that kind of stuff. It amazes me. We hopped on 684 now. We're heading north. I'm looking at the trucker path at, and well, for those of you who don't know, the trucker path app is something that most truck drivers use. You can see if way stations are open. You can check, you know, for truck stops, see if there's parking on that different stuff, but it's showing the rest area uh, way station is open on 684 here, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. It's usually not. It's not open overnight. It's normally. We'll see.
sea trucks here, two of them are on photo. messing around going on here fast as usual so I didn't I didn't whip the camera out for this one because I was trying to get everything on strapped quick so they can uh, keep moving and get this unloaded so I got mine unloaded now there's a TMC truck that's gonna be pulling up next all right I got the boards over on their truck that's their donnage so let's head on back I Alrighty, let's head on out of here. Getting ready to mix some more feed over here. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to call Sam to make sure we don't have a backhaul yet. See if we can get a backhaul, but I kind of doubt it. Easy one to get in here. The tractor over there with the blade, crone harvester. This one was pretty easy to get into, really. See you later, cows. It's a pretty big operation here. I don't know how many cows are here. Maybe a thousand or so, maybe more. Probably around a thousand. Got a lot of hay laying right now. There's actually a merger over there. He's raking it together, so they must be planning on getting a chop today. You guys can see that in the distance. He's John Deere tractor with a big merger. Those big mergers are pretty neat. Bring three rows together and make it, you know, one big roll. Nice mountains in the background. Like I said, the river's right below the farm there, so. These guys are just this side of the line, but the river is right right on this side of those mountains over there. Right on this side of the mountains. Nice John Deere 8700 just sitting there. gas station to the left I guess he's just waiting until he's got time on his log again I imagine probably 
slept there last evening. Stopped here in Springfield to get a breakfast sandwich and a coffee. And, uh, yeah, man, it's just so many of these truck stops that kind of turned into dumps over the years, you know? This is another one that used to be great and just kind of got run into the ground, you know? Only a few guys here, it's not very busy. I don't know how many spots they have here, probably about, yeah, probably about 20 spots or something like that. So, not a real big place, but not too bad either, just a little trashy. Dirty restrooms. It's a nice international, different color. Oh, that was uh, Cummings. They are out of Canada. I see them down at the lumber yard all the time. So, never seen that truck though. They're usually all white. Well, I gotta wait till my log. I'm, I stopped there to take my 30 minute break. So, I gotta wait till it resets and then we'll get moving. Just kind of cloudy and dreary today, but no rain up here yet. But like I said, there was some on the way up. Looks like it's going to be cloudy slash rainy for the next rest of the week, really. So, hey, we're okay with that after a bunch of, uh, after that dry spell.
signs that say uh, truck inspection ahead, so I guess we'll pull on in here. All trucks must stop.
may have turned it down because I'm on the phone or different things like that, but I do appreciate people um, yelling at me on the CV. That's always good. I just had one here in uh, Connecticut on 84, so, yep, always appreciate it. guys so that's going to be it for this video we're back at the shop and parked and uh we're going to get the truck serviced and then uh we'll be hauling equipment toward the end of the week so it looks like it's going to be a bit rainy towards the end of the week so anyway thanks for watching guys i do appreciate it and uh hope you guys have a good weekend thanks for tuning in again and we will see you next week mm -hmm.